wanted to know more about the theater. Where stage right, stage left? How do the actors change their costumes so quickly? Well, a man who knows how to make the stage come alive is telling everything you want to know. This is the king of all kings on stage. If you didn't know, this is the musical phenomenon, The Lion King. Since its premiere over a decade ago, it's been seen by over 45 million people worldwide. But what they don't see is what goes on behind the stage. But backstage, there's almost no room at all. And every time the cast runs off stage or something joyful is happening, they're all crammed into a tiny little space, frantically changing their clothes. It's quite a carnival backstage. Plus, there's scenery, there's prop men, there's wardrobe people, people being stitched into their costume, people with ice packs on because they just got hurt on stage. It's pandemonium backstage. Even with all that drama, the show must go on. But how? Thomas Schumacher, award-winning producer of Disney stage musicals like... Tarzan, Mary Poppins, Lion King, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aida. Answers that question in his new book, how does the show go on? An introduction to the theater. Well, I'm one of those kids who grew up loving the theater and, and wanting to be part of the theater and wanting to be in plays and be backstage and, and even just be in the audience. And so I wrote the book that I wanted to have when I was a kid. For kids, it's, a, it's not a how-to book, it's a how-is-it-done book. At a recent book signing at Disney World, which is where he crafted his skills, kids young and old alike. Nice to meet you, Elizabeth nice Dean. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> got the chance to meet and pick the brain of the man who some say is an American icon in the world of theater. Just to look at what they've been able to do. Yeah, we fell in love with the movies as children and now we get to see them live. The book is gonna introduce theater to so many different types of people who may not have had the chance or people like me who just love it. Just flipping through it, I haven't even really got to read it. Just looking at it, it's just this ridiculously amazing, you know, well-crafted, book that has so much information that I think I'll probably actually learn things that I didn't even know before. Like how to read your ticket. This ticket envelope, this is important to me because when you think about what's a ticket, to hold a ticket in your hand and know that that's your invitation in. But if you're a kid, you don't know what a seat number is or a row is or, you know, what aisle you should go down. And by putting this in here, and of course we have you know, a, a, um, a seating chart, you could actually find your seat on the seating chart. Or the reason why playwright is spelled funny. I'm glad, I always like it when somebody asks me why is playwright spelled P-L-A-Y-W-R-I-G-H-T. It's not W-R-I-T-E, it's playwright because plays are not written, they're wrought. Just like a boat right makes a boat, they're hammered and bent and heated and shaped into being, and like a, like a play is. And like his hit play, Schumacher has created his book with just as much passion, art, and detail. And there's the props. Who made them? What do they do? Who is the prop man? Who's the head carpenter? What's an electrician? So all those sort of things inside the theater. I wanted to sort of talk about and share that with a young reader, and that's what the book's about. Page. This playbill is a genuine playbill from opening night. After page. These are sketches by Julie Taymor of The Lion King. So in it, we can look at these original sketches from the show. After page. And finally, this woman calls and says, Tommy Schumacher, do you remember me? I'm Barbara Squire. And it's the lady who played Dolly in my production of Hello, Dolly, when I was a little boy. Schumacher sat down with me and went back to his childhood, to his days in Summerstock Theater. It was then he realized his destiny. And then I looked around and realized there were so many actors on stage that were better than me, or people that were kind of like me. And I thought, ooh, I don't want to be kind of mediocre. And I, I walked off the stage after my closing night in the great Stephen Schwartz musical Pippin. I was playing the lead, Pippin. And I walked off stage and said, I'm never going to act again. I'm just not good enough. And I knew that day I was going to go try to be a producer, and that's what happened. Schumacher admits he had no idea the arts were in his future. In fact, when I went to UCLA to go to college, I actually went intending to be a psychology major, thinking it was you know, pointless to try to go get a degree in theater. I'd, I'd never be able to do anything. He couldn't have been more wrong. His job today of running Disney on Broadway plays a major part in his circle of life. I went to theater school, learned my craft, met people, and they helped me get work, 
and it all came together. And then the missing piece for anybody else is this huge thing that happened for me at the Walt Disney Company 20 years ago, which was being invited into the Disney family to, to make a movie called The Rescuers Down Under. I came in here as a theater guy, made a movie, worked on some TV things, and now I'm back in the theater again. Like a king, reigning supreme, and taking center stage with a new project that leaves no page unturned. That's just a taste of the Arts Connection. You can catch more great stories like this at the Arts Connection website at wmfe.org slash arts and see new episodes every Thursday night at 8 on WMFE TV. Thanks for watching.